What's up, everybody? Matt Kajeski here, back again with the Odd Shopper channel, talking some college basketball. Ahead of February the 16th, it is Thursday. We have a large slate of games. Before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all other content goes live. If you're listening on podcast, please leave a rating and review over there as well. We are brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. And if you're watching, you can see on the banner, they have a new offer. It is a limited time offer, but how it works is you're going to head to DraftKings Sportsbook or just click the link in the video description below. Make your first deposit of at least $5. Then place a $5 money line pregame wager on any team of your choosing, but this has to win in order for you to get your prize, which is going to be $150. So again, it's a pregame money line bet. You're going to take $5. And if it wins, you get $150. So my recommendation here is finding one of the larger favorites on the board, betting them on the money line specifically, and then almost ensuring yourself that $150. So tonight, one example of this is USC taking on Cal. Against the spread, USC is minus 16. So you would take them on the money line, giving yourself a pretty good chance to take home that 150 no-brainer offer. Thank you to DraftKings. Make sure to check them out. The legal age for gambling is 21 in most states. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, please call or text 1-800-GAMBLER. All right. Before we move forward, we look back. The, the struggles have continued pretty cold week, so uh, maybe it's your chance to start going the other way. But looking at what we had yesterday, and for those of you that don't understand what shot quality is, Shot quality is not a tool that allows us to make bets or helps us evaluate bets ahead of time. It's how we evaluate bets after the fact. So a lot of you have heard anecdotally like, oh, this team hit a bunch of lucky shots or whatever it may be. This is a way to quantify it. It evaluates the shots taken on the floor and projects the score of the game, quantifying that luck. So no, we don't use this to take bets ahead of time. We use them to evaluate bets. So just to clear that up, this is not a system where I am actually using it to bet games. Anyway, so we talked about a bunch yesterday, TCU versus Iowa State. I actually hedged out of that one when we had TCU injury news come through. The TCU beat right now is unbelievable. Early in the day, they reported that Mike Miles and Eddie Lamkid would return. Then later in the day, they were ruled out. So luckily, I was sitting at my computer and was able to hedge out of that wager. And it would have lost, so I'm very happy I did that. Arkansas lost, according to shot quality. They they rightly rightfully should have. Same thing with Indiana versus Northwestern. And then Louisville was a win, so a bit more of a mixed bag. Added Marquette late. That did not win. But shot quality had them with an 87-63 win, so horrible shooting percentage for the Golden Eagles. But we spin this forward. And today we've got a pretty greasy slate of games. So we'll kick things off in the Pac-12. Stanford takes on UCLA. They're 13 and a half point underdogs. We'll be taking the points with Stanford. This team, they've been playing a lot better recently, I think is the main thing here. You can look to their most recent play. They beat Arizona over the weekend, which was a great win. Four point loss to Arizona State. They kept that extremely close. Colorado, blowout loss, but then they beat Utah, Cal, Chicago State, Oregon, and Oregon State prior to that. So over the last Eight games, they're actually six and two. Pretty good record here. And they've been solid in conference play after a slow start. This team plays with a lot of size. They're 29th in effective height. UCLA is 141st. And now that Stanford has sort of solidified their rotation, I think this is a game they can actually cover the spread here as well. You've seen Spencer Jones play 34 minutes in the most recent game. So Michael Jones played 29. Harrison Ingram's played over 30 in two straight games. Brandon Angel's played over 30 in two straight games. Michael O'Connell's played 30 in two straight games. This team messed with their rotation for over half the season, and it seems they've solidified things heading into this contest. And it's not one where I expect them to win, and you can see this based on the efficiency metrics on the screen. It's not really particularly close outside of that size. But it's projected to be a low-scoring game. The total here is 130.5. The under looks like it could be taking some money. And both teams are slow. Stanford 67.3 possessions per game. UCLA 68.9. That's both well below the league average. So we'll take the points with the underdog and Stanford. Second game, we get 
way more greasy with Northern Colorado taking on Idaho. I took this as a pick em. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I forgot to mention with the, the bets we took yesterday. All of them had closing line value. This is the epitome of you can't feed your family with the closing, the closing line value. Got to actually win the bets. Closing line value only means so much, but got some here. Took Northern Colorado as a pick em. They're now minus one and a half over Idaho. Pretty drastic difference. Overall, per Ken Palm, Northern Colorado's 218th with the 143rd strength of schedule. Idaho is 277th with the 274th strength of schedule. So Northern Colorado has been playing better against a much better level of competition compared to Idaho, who's well below 500 with a very weak level of competition. And these teams are actually built similarly. They're both better on offense than defense. We're talking about two teams outside the top 300 on defense. But Northern Colorado has a drastic height advantage. They're 89th in effective height. Idaho is 286. You look at how these two teams score against each other. Well, Idaho tries to score inside. That's where they score most of their points. That goes up against that height of Northern Colorado, which I don't love. And then on the other side, Northern Colorado shoots a ton of threes. They're 98th in three-point attempts per game. And they are 29th in three-point percentage, which is awesome. That definitely is going to exacerbate some issues with Idaho's defense, who does not defend the three very well. We'll take a pick with Northern Colorado here. In our last game, we have UAB taking on UTEP. You still are able to buy low on UAB with Jelly Walker back. Awesome on offense, best offensive playmaker. Both these teams are actually even on defense, 70th for UAB, 66th for UTEP. But there is an enormous mismatch on offense, 36th for UAB, 2 326 for UTEP, and this gets even a little deeper. UAB 81st in effective height, UTEP is 208th. The mismatches continue when you look at some of the interior stylistics. UTEP, they turn the ball over a ton, they're 347th in turnovers. UAB generates a ton of turnovers, they're 59th. Shooting percentage certainly favors UAB, so we'll back the Blazers here, undervalued with Jelly Walker back in the fold. That'll do it for us today. If you don't like home teams, also took San Diego as a home dog, but that's neither here nor there. Weird slate. Let me know what you think of the games. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitter at Matt underscore Gajeski if you'd like to reach out. We'll be back tomorrow and Saturday talking more bets. And until then, good luck, everyone. We'll see you later.